as in the days of Noah. Scientists have just created a Frankenstein chimera monkey that glows green. The birth of a chimeric monkey with glowing green fingers and eyes may sound like something out of a horror movie, but represents a major scientific breakthrough. Researchers in China announced the long-sought birth today, sharing images of the long-tailed monkey whose cells are made from an embryo injected with genetically distinct cells. In Greek mythology, a chimera is a female fire-breathing monster resembling a lion at the front, a goat in the middle, and a dragon at the back. Stem cells modified to glow green were injected into a number of marula, uh, marula embryos, and those are four and five days old, to help identify whether or not the additional cells would multiply. This is a long-sought goal in the field, said study leader Dr. Zen Liu of the Chinese Academy of Scientists. The research not only has implications for understanding pluripotency in other primates, including humans, but it has relevant practical implications for genetic engineering and species conservation. The upside is if you lose it in the dark, you'll find it really quickly because it glows. Now, they've been playing with these kind of things for a while now. My first point I want to make is if they're willing to admit to glowing the dark green monkey publicly, what have they really done that they're not willing to admit to in the background? How far have they gone with cloning technology and all those things? And yes, I know, reach beneath your seat, find your tinfoil hat and place it on your head if it scares you. But these are truths. They will never tell you everything they have up front. They'll test the waters. So here we have glowing green monkey. What have they really got? Have they got the next step in the mark of the beast that they were already looking at with Lucifer rays that can glow under special light so that you can see who is marked and who isn't marked when the time comes three and a half years into the final week? And yes, those are other rabbit holes you can go down very fast. So I reckon they're way further along and they've created all sorts of abominations and they've never stopped to ask should we or shouldn't we because they're led by darkness and it is scary. And this is just one more example of what they're willing to admit to at this time on the scale. What aren't they willing to admit to? What's really going on? I think it's high time God stepped in, sorted everything out and just gave everyone a wake up call. And that is coming really, really soon. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.